The Boreas Breath of the Ranger is a pretty decent throwable ice SMG. So in this video today I'm going to show you what this weapon does, how it works and where you can find it. In order to get this weapon you are going to need to go back to where it all began. The very first part that you come into when you start playing Tiny Tina's Wonderland is Snoring Valley. Now there is only one fast travel point in Snoring Valley and that is right at the start, the Glade of Helpful Tutorials. So what you will need to do is to teleport yourself to that spot and you are going to need to travel the distance of the map because this weapon itself is only obtainable by completing the Ribula boss at the end of this zone. Now with any of the bosses there is not a guaranteed drop rate of these weapons and depending on what your loot luck is set at you may have to do this several times in order to get the weapon you need. Now the first time that you do do this it is going to take you a fair bit of time in order to travel the distance that you will need to get to the dungeon with Ribula in it. But once you have done it, once you've completed it, then all you will need to do is go back to your main menu of the game and then hit continue and it will respawn you at the nearest available point. And that is a very short walk away from the boss. So you will be able to keep going through repeating this as many times as you need in order to get this weapon. Now don't forget as well, on your first initial route to this boss, there will be some loot caches on the way, some weapon caches, and you can get some pretty decent ones in those. There is one at the castle as you are traveling up, and once you have actually completed the Rebula boss, then it does open a room at the back of this dungeon and there will be another weapon cache in there as well so do make sure you get both of those you can get some pretty decent loot on your way now once you do finally manage to obtain that Boreas breath of the ranger then it can be a really useful weapon to have especially at your early game no matter what level you are in tiny teens wonderland you can keep going through and doing this boss and getting new higher levels of this weapon now the weapon perks themselves will be completely random what ones you do get so they will never always be the same do make sure that you do go and enhance your weapons as well because that will add an additional benefit to it and in my case, I was lucky enough to get an enhancement of an additional 50% frost damage, which as it's a nice weapon, it's going to do much better damage than if you haven't enhanced it. So for the weapon itself, it is an SMG. It is a pretty decent fire rate to it anyway. It does have a scope to it which you can use scope or no scope, whichever you prefer. But the best part of this weapon is it is a throwable weapon. When you do reload, it will throw that weapon towards your enemies. As it hits the ground, it will form some giant icicles, which will then travel a certain distance ahead of you and damage any enemies in its path. Now I still don't have the best of loot and I don't have everything leveled up as of yet but it still does some pretty decent damage. As long as you do combine it with your skill set and your character set, then you will be able to do some pretty decent damage with this weapon. So that is your Boreas Breath of the Ranger, a pretty decent SMG, nowhere near the best in the game, but a really decent one to start you off in your journey. So I hope you do find this video useful. If you do, don't forget to drop a like. Comments are always welcome, but until the next one, hope you have a fantastic day and stay safe, my friends.